welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a carousel centerpiece and setup here we go to make a carousel centerpiece and setup that you can use for your baby shower or for a birthday party, for a first birthday party, fifth birthday party, any birthday party. It's gonna be cute either way. Um, at first I was inspired to make a carnival themed centerpiece, but then I slowly made my way into a carousel centerpiece by walking the aisles of Hobby Lobby. I fell in love with that unicorn and I got it at a discounted price. So. Yep, <laughs> all right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is paint all of this in metallic gold. I have my unicorn here, which I got at this kind of price. Original price is $9.99, but I got it for six bucks because someone tried to rip the horn of the um, unicorn for some reason, but no problem, I'll take it as long as I get a discount. And I have a, this is a, oh, here it is, a 9.5 inch box, a round box. And then I have two wooden dowels and these are 3.8 by 12. So I'm gonna paint them and I'll be right back. Okay, so my next step is to dig a little hole right here in the middle. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife or craft knife. And I'm just going to make a small one and then work my way in to make it this big. But you want it to be snug, so don't make it too big. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue in the inside so it can secure it in place. Now I'm going to place my horse on top of the dowel, but I kind of want the horse to stay this high. I don't really want to go down any deeper. So all I'm going to do is just dig a little bit just so I can have it a little snug up to here and then I'm going to add glue right around there. So I was about to make my life so much difficult right now. I was about to glue the unicorn on top of the dowel right now, but I forgot that I have to place the second dowel on top of it first. So before you place it on the dowel, you must place the second dowel on the unicorn first. You are going to place it directly above the one that will be at the bottom. So it will be right around here okay so you're going to dig a hole and then you're going to push it all the way through which is perfectly okay because this is pretty long so you're just going to push it all the way through and you want it to seem as if it was the same dowel now i'm going to place a unicorn on top of the bottom dowel I'm going to add a little glue to the bottom of the unicorn and I'm going to add a little bit on here. Okay, so now that everything's in place, I want to start adding colors and decorating the carousel. So I'm going to start by adding this 3 8 inch pink ribbon to my dowel. It's going to serve as the swirl. Uh, I didn't want to paint it uh, because I'm not a fan of painting, you know, I want things to look very polished. So um, I'm going to use this ribbon. And I'm going to be using hot glue to attach the ribbon to the dowel. add 
this quarter inch round floral foam to the top of my top dowel. But first I'm going to paint it metallic gold. First I'm going to push it into the dowel to make a little hole right here at the bottom and then I'm going to add glue and then place it right on top. Now I'm going to make a tutu to place around the box. I'm going to be using pink tool and I'm also going to use the ribbon that you saw earlier. It's a 3 8 inch pink ribbon. So I'm going to measure and cut, which I already did. And I'm leaving a little bit extra so I can make a little bow at the end. And I'm going to measure the length that I'm going to need and I'm going to double it up. So I'm basically going to need this length and double that because I'm going to tie this to the ribbon. All right, so here's a little piece I already cut and here's the ribbon so I'm going to just okay let me give you a close-up for those of you who are new to my channel here's how you make a tutu <laughs> uh, so you are going to hold it like this all right you're gonna see a little hole right there and then you are going to grab your ribbon and then you are going to bring this hole over and then bring the two pieces through it and then you are going to pull all right and then you are going to continue doing the same all the way till the end and it should look something like this when you're done with it and now I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue right here and then I'm going to tie it around. And I made a couple of these a little longer for some reason, don't know why. <laughs> so I'm gonna trim it all around. So I've been going back and forth on how to decorate this area. I know that I want to keep it simple because I already have the tutu and you don't want to add too much and it's just going to look like too much. <laughs> so um, I have two colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using roses and I have this. Um, this is actually a peachy color, but it looks kind of like light pink uh, and I love it on there. And I have this darker pink. This one is from Dollar Tree and this one is from Michaels, all right? And this one, obviously a dollar. And this were 50% off of $3.99. So it was $2 per bouquet. So I'm just going to pull off the rows of the stem and then I'm going to cut it very, very short. And I'm going to start gluing right here on top. I'm going to place about four for now. I might leave it at four, but for now I'm for sure using four. I'm going to start adding my dark pink roses and again I'm going to pull them off and I'm going to cut it very very short. And this I'm placing over the tutu to hide the knots around the box. going to add a couple of more flowers right on top. Now I'm going to lay some of these pearls right on top. And there it is. four toy horses that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this as part of the core for my setup. What I basically want to do is four smaller versions of my centerpiece that I'm going to be placing on top of my plate and it's pretty much the same process but not really and I will show you that in a bit but for now I'm going to go ahead and paint them in gold. 
I'm also going to paint four paper mache mini round boxes in metallic gold. So the first thing I'm going to do to make my miniature version is take my bamboo skewer and I'm going to poke a hole right in the middle. And I'm going to pretty much do the same. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to add glue to the bottom so it can help me keep it secure and steady. So after it dries, you're going to close that up and then you are going to use two colors. I'm going to use two of the gold and two of the pink swirls. I'm going to start with the uh, pink and I'm going to measure um, how tall I want it to be and I want them a little bit past their legs so around here and you're just gonna cut with your scissors alright and then you are going to put it through here alright you're gonna put it through there and then you are going to cut with some wire cutters or anything that you have this strong enough to cut the bamboo skewer and you're just gonna trim that down and make sure that nothing's sticking up like this one because then that's going to come in contact with the horse and it's not going to be able to sit still so I'm going to trim that down you can take it off trim it down a little bit So this is how it should be. Now you want to apply just a little bit of glue at the bottom. Not too much because you don't want it to be sloppy. You know, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to use my scissors to smear that a little. So let that dry for a little bit before placing the horse on top. Now you're going to add some glue to the middle of the belly of the horse. Place a good amount, almost like a little ball. See that? Okay. So you're going to place a good amount of glue and you're going to let it dry a little bit. Not all the way, but you want it to be uh, thick and hard but not too hard <laughs> and then you're going to do the same here you're going to add another dot okay if you move it in a circular motion you can make a dot right there all right so let that get hard for a little bit before placing it on top of each other. Okay, so this one seems ready. So I'm going to place it right in the middle of the glue. Glue on glue. All right. And you're gonna hold it there until the glue dries. Now I'm going to use the rest of this straw to place it right on top. You decide how tall you want it. I want it to be this tall. And then I'm also going to add a piece, basically the same process of the bamboo skewer inside of here, okay? But that's what's going to hold the glue in place. Lastly, I'm going to place this chocolate melt. Yes, it is a chocolate melt because I use whatever I have, as I've said before. I couldn't find anything that will go perfectly on here, and I found this chocolate melt, and that is exactly what I'm going to use. To give you a couple of more ideas, you can use a piece of the pearl. It's a little too small for me. Or you can use marbles or anything that you can find around your house. But I'm going to use this chocolate melt. Last but not least, I'm going to add a single rose to the bottom right here. I'm not going to glue it yes yet because I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the lighter one 
or the darker one. I'm going to have to wait until I have everything set up on the table. Okay guys, this is it. This is my carousel centerpiece and some of the items for the setup and I think it is adorable. It was a very easy project to make and I think any little girl or any mom-to-be will love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do it right now. Also, if you know someone that can use this centerpiece, make sure to share it with them at the end of this video and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. Until next time, bye.